Today, we're gonna be making three ingredient, vegan, gluten-free, and paleo chocolate brownies. What's up, it's Vince Leo from VinceLeo.com and thanks for joining me here again today and if you're new here to the channel, I do a lot of videos around plant-based nutrition including recipes, taste test videos, healthy hacks and more. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Now a little while ago, I did a video for three ingredient vegan pancakes. I'll go ahead and leave a link for that video in the description box below so you can check it out after this. But this is a recipe I found from Big Man's World. And these brownies are obviously easy to make with only three ingredients. And they produce this gooey, fudgy brownie that just looks really, really good. Now, I've never made these before, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them a shot and see how they taste. Now for this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. A total of three ripe bananas. Now, as you can see, these bananas are really ripe. And this one's kind of ripe, it has some spots coming in but it's definitely not like this. These are definitely overripe, which is what the recipe calls for. But I'm thinking if I combine these two really ripe bananas with this kind of ripe banana, I'll be okay. But use the ripest bananas you have for these chocolate brownies. Half a cup of smooth almond butter. Now you can use any nut butter that you have at the house, but you do want to make sure that it's smooth and you don't want a clumpy almond butter or whatever nut butter that you're using. If you do have one like that, just go ahead and heat it up in a pan on the stove for a little bit until it becomes more of a liquid to use for this recipe. And for our last ingredient, anywhere from two tablespoons to a quarter cup of raw cacao powder. Now the recipe does call for cocoa powder, but I don't have any of that on hand, so I'm gonna be using cacao powder instead. Now the more cacao or cocoa powder that you use in the recipe, the richer the brownies will taste. Now the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then we're gonna take all these ingredients and combine them together for our brownie mixture. Now you could do this one of two ways. You could put everything in a bowl and just mix it all together by hand, or you can toss it in a blender. Now using a blender is just gonna make the batter a little creamier and smoother, but it does seem a little easier for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the blender to make these brownies. Now the first thing you wanna do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And the directions say to grease a small cake pan or loaf and set that aside. For this recipe, I'm just gonna be using parchment paper in a loaf pan. Next, in a large mixing bowl or blender, add the bananas, nut butter, and cacao powder. As I mentioned earlier, the recipe calls for three medium bananas, but you only need approximately one cup. So for this recipe, I was able to use the two ripe bananas that I already have. Pour the mixture into the loaf pan and then bake for around 20 minutes or until cooked through. Now remove the pan from the oven and allow the brownies to cool completely before slicing them into pieces. All right, so our brownies are out of the oven and cooled off a bit. And as you can see, they are looking pretty good. Now, depending on how much batter you use and what size pan that you ultimately cook it in, that will affect the overall thickness of the brownie. So you can play around with it depending on what you like. Now, I did get eight brownies that were about this size, which isn't too bad, but now let's take a bite and see how they taste. These brownies are delicious. Now you can taste a little bit of the banana flavor, which is to be expected since we use bananas to make the brownies. Now it's nothing like banana bread or anything like that. It's definitely a brownie consistency where it's really dense and it has a strong chocolate flavor. And maybe next time you could even add a little more cacao powder to try to offset that banana flavor if you're not a big fan of that. But personally, I think they're great. They're really easy to make with only three healthy ingredients that you can easily find at the store, and it really only takes a few minutes to make. So let me know in the comments what you think of this three ingredient, easy to make chocolate brownie recipe, and if you've ever had brownies made out of bananas before. And as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week, and join the Fit From Food notification squad by ringing that bell next to the subscribe button. And a big shout out to Big Man's World. I'll go ahead and link his channel in the description box below so you can check it out. And remember to keep living Fit From Food. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.